What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. So check it out, man. It is Monday. I probably had this video up fucking Tuesday or Wednesday. Probably Tuesday night or something. But anyway, about to go ahead and start my day. Decided I go ahead and vlog for you guys, man. People tend to love seeing what I'm up to, seeing what I'm eating. Let's keep it going. So you might hear a little noise in the background. That's the pool people, man, doing what they do best. Getting this pool ready, man. I'll show you the progress of the pool once they leave. I don't want to come out there with the camera confusing them. They be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Why is he recording us? So we'll wait till they leave. I'll show you how the uh, progress of the pool is looking. Also, like I told y'all a, uh, a few vlogs back about the um, Corvette. It's finally home after shit. Damn near eight weeks of waiting. We finally got the Corvette back. Let me go ahead and show you what it's looking like, man. It's in the garage. Here we go. First and foremost, you see these bicycles right here? Well, uh, we decide to go ahead and buy some bikes. You know, every now and then when the weather's good, go for a little ride. That's our cardio. Just a little bike riding, man. None of that Stairmaster shit, none of that treadmill shit. No traditional cardio till it's time for me to get Lean Jones mode again. All right, but anyway, so here's the Corvette. Let me show you what they did, man. As you see, we got this carbon fiber, and this carbon fiber is looking amazing, man. Amazing. I'm so glad I let them talk me into getting the carbon fiber repolished, because it was kind of faded, man. It was that's why we got it done. It was. I initially got the car in the shop because I bent my rim and scratched it. Well, they talked me into getting the carbon fiber polished. Some some of the pieces got lost, which is what delayed the whole thing. But we found the pieces, and it looks look at this man, it's nice and slick. So they got the carbon fiber repolished. All right, carbon fiber on the hood. All right, carbon fiber on the exhaust. All right, and this right here was the rim that initially got fucked up. They painted over it. You know what I mean? Fixed the dent, got it looking brand new. 4G's, man, to my knowledge, every time you fuck up a 4G rim, you have to take 4G's to Cali. You have to send them to Cali, man. So that's what took so long. I see, carbon fiber to the side. What y'all think, man? There you go, finally got it home, man. Speaking of the shop, guys, speaking of the shop, my truck is actually in the shop. So what I'm about to do is, I'm gonna eat, uh, check my emails, and then we're gonna go pick up the truck from the shop. They already called me. Hey, I just had to get some maintenance and inspection work done, so I'm go ahead and pick that truck up, and we're gonna start our day, man. So let's go ahead and show you meal number one. Must be nice, Bruno. You can just lay down anywhere, huh? Anywhere you want to, just lay the fuck down, huh? All right, homies and homies, so I got my food, let me see. Yeah. Got my food in the microwave. I'm about to show y'all my vitamins real quick. I remember last my last vlog, before I went to bed, I said I'm about to take my vitamins in my last meal. I had a few people ask me uh, what are those vitamins. I tend to forget, you know, we get we get a few people, you know, joining the Palm Chasers family from time to time, and not everybody knows about me like that. So I'm just gonna share briefly what I'm taking daily. Check it out, I got flaxseed right here. I take three of these a day. I got fish oils, right? I take three of these a day. So that's six soft gels in all, three and three. All right? Now keep in mind, all of this was recommended by my dermatologist. You know, not too long ago, uh, I saw a dermatologist because I just got tired of dealing with the whole acne thing. I got tired of dealing with breakouts, not knowing why they're happening. So I don't mind getting breakouts. Just like I don't mind getting fat. I don't mind getting fat because I know why the fuck I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat because I'm not tracking my macros and I pretty much eat as much as I want, what I want. And just like breaking out, I don't mind breaking out if I know why. It's frustrating when you break out and you have no idea why. So, saw the dermatologist. We made small changes to my diet, told me to cut back on a few things, and most of all, take these supplements daily. Fish oil is really good for inf inflammation in the joints, inflammation in the body in general. So definitely, if you're not taking flaxseed, at least get on your fish oils daily, okay? I got this zinc and B vitamin mixture right here. Biotin. 
and vitamin D3, okay? So this is what I'm taking daily. But fuck all that, let me show y'all my meal real quick. Y'all already know, man, Denise takes good care of your boy, you hear me? I got some turkey right here. She seasoned it. Well, what the fuck she put in here? I think it's like some tomato, um, basil, and all. It has a spaghetti taste to it, you feel me? Without the noodles. So she, obviously some kind of tomato base, you know, uh, garlic and onions and pepper. This shit's good than a motherfucker, man. I might have to get her on my next vlog to cook this shit for y'all. Like the chicken and rice video. So y'all can try this at home. Shout out to everybody that tried the chicken and rice video. I've got quite a few DMs from people that actually made the shit. All right. We got sweet potato right here. There's a little bit of green beans. I'm about to have me a soda, man. I need something sweet, baby. All right, homies and home, man. It's almost done with my clients. <clears throat> so I've been getting this common question. I almost forgot it was... Thanksgiving, but um, yeah, I've been getting this common question. I've gotten this question at least eight times today and the day just started What do we do about Thanksgiving now? Obviously if you're bulking or you're like me and not really giving a shit right now Don't worry about it But if you're actually if you're actually on the diet you're cutting down you have a weight loss goal You're on a weight loss journey. What do you do? Do you just skip Thanksgiving dinner? Do you come to Thanksgiving with your own food and weigh it out? Like what do you do? To be 100% honest with you, I'm going to tell you exactly what I've told my clients. All right, now I have this thing called refeed days, right? Refeed days are just pretty much a day when you increase your calories, mostly coming from carbs to fill out your muscles with glycogen to, you know, give you a boost in leptin and also help you. It, it actually not only good for you physically, but it's good for you mentally as well. All right, if you just constantly diet week after week after week after week with no refeed days or no cheat days, your muscles are gonna be really flat, your performance is gonna be shit in the gym, and that's gonna probably set you up for uh, cheap meals and binging in the long run. But anyway, so I'll prove why I told him this, this. I said, look, if you cheat on Thanksgiving day, Skip the refeed day. That means no refeed for you Saturday. You you already made your choice. Skip refeed on Saturday and Friday morning. Get your ass back to that gym because most gyms close early on Thursday. Get your ass back in that gym and get back on these fucking macros. No excuses. Look, one fucking day out of the week of having some food with your family, it's not going to kill you. Okay? All right, homies and home mess. Uber just dropped me off. About to go get my car and get something to eat. Just different warranties have different times, right? Yeah, I mean, not all of them are the same. All right, yeah. homies and home mates. Just got done running my errands. Went to the bank and a few other places. Now, it's time to have meal number two. So I'm over here at Chipotle. And instead of going home, guys, I'm just gonna go straight to my gym and work out. Keep in mind, um punisher just came out on netflix i know for a fact if i go home i'm gonna just sit around watching netflix bullshitting around i won't get to the gym till like 10 o'clock at night i might as well go ahead and get the workout over with now and here it is homies and home mess. check it out we got guacamole double chicken rice and beans just kept it simple baby got a little bit of corn some unsweet tea, you know. About to have this meal right here and reflect a little bit. All right. So I'm in the gym. Guys, look at that. It is dark as fuck outside. It's not even that late. I promise you, it's like maybe five o'clock. Crazy getting dark hella early So I got the gym to myself it seems nobody's here About to take me a little pre-workout and get my mind right For those that are wondering yes, the black and gold zip-ups are coming back should be in stock in about two weeks I got the joggers on shout out to my client Ray Nico He sent me these black and gold Kobe's a long time ago 
nigga, that's an all talk. Niggas run you be a towel boy. Niggas run me, this a cowboy. I love this song right here, man. Where are them weekend bitches at, man? Where are them weekend hoes, man? We got four bad bitches. Gonna finish Delts back in traps with some shrugs, baby. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Let's go and add some weight on this bitch, baby. All right, let me go, man. Let's check it out. Post workout meal. Cause shit just got real. Check it out. We got the grits. We got the oats. Hold on. I'm hungry, and motherfucker. Mm. Nasty. Let me put some sugar in <laughs> And we got T-bone and egg whites. Don't be jealous. <laughs> That's what happened, man. Meal number three. Got Denise here holding the camera. So Denise got here 10 minutes before me. So well, actually longer than that because the food's here. Uh -huh. She got here before me so she can order. Cause she knew the beast was gonna be hungry. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. Home sweet home, baby. All right, homies and homies, so I'm home, down to my last eight emails of the day, and then I'm gonna have my last meal and watch a little TV. All right, homies and homies, so check this shit out real quick. As you know, we got quite a few things coming for pumpchasers.com. We're gonna be restocking the black and gold zip-up you see me wearing. We're gonna be re um, bring, introducing the scoop neck sweater I've been wearing lately scoop neck t-shirts to go cut a rug in, all kinds of new items. Unfortunately, they're not gonna be here in time for Black Friday weekend, okay? But check it out, we're still doing a nice sale. We got a lot of things in inventory. I'm dropping the prices on quite a few things, and we're gonna have a 20% off checkout code. So the price is gonna be dropped on a lot of items. I'm talking drop big time, fuck with that shit. And we got a 20% off checkout code, so I suggest you take advantage of that, okay? Then, on my coaching website at getholeready.com, the meal plans, the downloadable training programs, the Get Whole Ready stringers, Get Whole Ready t-shirts, uh, online coaching, you can get 20% off of anything at getholeready.com with 20% off code as well. For both websites, the 20% off code will be POMP20. So Thursday, November 23rd, Central Time, midnight, as soon as the clock hit, Fucking Thursday, midnight. Okay? Type in pump20 at getholeready.com or pumpchasers.com and get 20% off your whole order. And like I said, at Pump Chasers, I'm gonna be marking down a lot of stuff. Like a lot, like those shorts and shit, that summer and shit, we're knocking the price down big time. A lot of stuff we're gonna move out of here. Price is gonna be dropped. So take advantage of that shit. Leggings for the ladies, price is gonna be dropped. Now also, ladies, we've got some special shit coming for y'all real soon. So ladies, you like those bubblegum leggings, those all green leggings? Price is gonna be dropped big time on that. This is gonna be dropping the price on a lot of inventory and an additional 20% off. So be ready. Thursday, midnight, let's get it. Pump 20 for both sites. All right, homies and homets. So it's nighttime. Got all my clients caught up. About to wind down. Play a little Call of Duty, man. I like this game, guys. Yeah, I, I wasn't really feeling the Assassin's Creed, but I'm feeling this because of this Call of Duty World War II. I'm almost done with the game, man. Once I finish the game, go ahead and play a little online, pop some tops, you feel me? Headshots left and right. So let me show you my last meal. About to hop on this hemp oil vape right here. Just play a little Xbox, chill out, wind down a little bit. Mmm. Uh, I've been getting DMs, man. Yes, I definitely feel a difference, man. Taking my fish oils every day, hitting my hemp oil before bed. Man, my joints feel like I'm 19 years old again, you hear me? So check it out, man. Got the chicken and rice right here. You know, like I told you earlier, Chef Denise takes good care of your boy, man. Got the chicken and rice right here. I'm gonna eat on this, play the video game, 
And then for dessert, instead of having a glass of wine, I'm gonna go ahead and have this Halo Top chocolate chip cookie dough. And as you see, this shit is fucking frozen. So I'm gonna let it sit out for about 30 minutes, let it get nice and soft. So anyway, homies and homies, that's it for today. Don't forget, Thursday midnight, Go to pumptasters.com, getholeready.com. 20% off checkout code will be pump20. Fuck with your boy. As always, thank y'all so much for y'all support. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and holla back at your boy. Chase a chick, never chase a bitch.